Hey, what's going on, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington, this is Deer Meat for Dinner, and welcome back to the lake. Uh, about two weeks ago, I put this feeder up, and we cut these trees down, and we, we were like, let's see if the fish like the feed. Look at that. After doing the first video, I started researching online, looking for habitats, because when I was in the water swimming around, there was some habitat along the edge of the bank, but very little of it. As I got out into the middle, it was basically barren. And as much time as I spend in the ocean, if you're swimming along and it's just a sandy bottom, you don't see any fish. There's nothing there to hold them. But when you get to a structure, whether it be a rock or a shipwreck or anything else, there will be life there, there'll be structure there. So I started looking online and I found a company called Mossback Fish Habitats. Started looking at them and I was like, oh my gosh. So I reached out to him and I said, look man, I've got a pond that I'm trying to build into a fish oasis. And I talked to the owner, David, and his son, Austin, who run the company together. They said, look, let us design something for you. They designed it, sent me over the preliminary drawings, and uh, we are gonna put together the most amazing fish habitat you've ever seen. It's called a fish city, and it happens right now. All right, so this is my team of crazies right here. This is Austin, Austin King, right? Yes, sir. Austin King. He's owner of Mossback Fish Habitats, and this is what was shipped to us. This is a ton of gear. And instead of him explaining it to you, we're just gonna show you. So we're gonna break up into teams. We're gonna start filling the bases up with concrete. We're gonna start installing things. These boys are gonna put the motor on the John boat, and we're just gonna get cracking. And while they do that, I'm jumping in the water to go see what our what our shipwreck and what all the original habitat looks like because look man, this is Content Lake and I want to see it from the inside. All right, boys, good news. When we put the uh, feeder up and built all the structure here, there was literally no life on the bottom. Now you can already see new shoots of hydrilla starting to come up. You can see tons of little baby fish on the bottom, little fry. Instead of seeing all big bluegills, now down there around the edges of the structure and in the little areas, I see lots of little bluegill which means this habitat that we've already put here is starting to work. Now, because I love this pond, I love this ranch, and I love this life, we're gonna develop the most comprehensive, incredible fish habitat you've ever seen. Let's make it happen, boys. Once he gets these pipes screwed onto the base, the, the concrete dries, we'll start putting these into there. But that's why he came here, to show me. I'm terrible with directions. <laughs> Those just fit right over the top pose. <clears throat> and then we'll put the next three limbs in the top, locking that thing into place. And then you're gonna just continue with this all the way down. Exactly. All right, right. good deal. While you do that, you keep rolling on this. I'm gonna take these and we're going to get all our bases started. It took me just a minute to figure this out so if you try it 
when you get the first V in, you, you tilt it down so the tips grab here and then you lower it and it'll slide right in. At first, I couldn't get it in the hole, but once you figure out the angle, it goes right in. So don't get frustrated if you're trying it. Look at that, y'all. <laughs> the sun is so hot right now that uh, I keep dumping water on it. Otherwise, they just burn your hands. Typically, you're not working in 100 degree heat, but that's what we're doing. like a parachute one of the really nice things about working around a pond is you get hot you just jump into the pond it's like instant relief Originally, I wanted to create this area into just a huge fish city, but we've got enough to do two fish cities. Drop a big thumbs up. Here. 
So on that habitat right there, what I want is I want all those limbs to be very close on all on both of them so that it just creates a huge area of shade and structure for all of our small fish and medium-sized fish. Over here we have the big tall one that's that's not nearly as tight and hopefully the bass hang out over there. We're going to put a feeder right where David's standing right now. All right, before we go to lunch, we're going to dig the hole and set the pole so that it has time to set, you know, with the concrete. Get the uh, fast curing set feet up my truck. Okay, stop. Put some of that. We just got done with lunch, came back out here, and my little brother aka Blue Gabe is on his way. He's bringing his bobcat because we want to fix all these washouts that are in the road. We're just going to put a piece of six inch PVC pipe in here, cover it over and hope for the best. So a lot of you guys know Gabe already started his YouTube channel. It's called Blue Gabe. First week he had over 10,000 subscribers and when he's not hunting or fishing, this is what he does. He runs bobcats for a living and he is amazing at it. So. We're gonna fix these washouts, get to it. Came in here, dug it all out, laid the pipe, filled it in, and then we compacted it. If you don't compact it, it'll wash out like that. But to ensure it doesn't wash out again, we're gonna come in with a load of rock. Uh, Gabe's got a bobcat, he'll come in, he'll put a load of rock in here and uh, just sure it up. It's always good to have great friends and an amazing family. My dad and my brother have that Bobcat company and uh, it really comes in handy. He's down here fixing the other washouts. We're gonna be back at the pond. Yesterday we put 22 habitats in that pond. Now I'm gonna throw my mask and fins, go check them out. So right here in this grass, there are thousands of little baby fish, like little fry and little juveniles. And then we have like a whole safe haven that goes from the vegetation out here to the middle so that when we put the feeder up there and it starts casting feed all out here, they don't have to expose themselves so the big predators can come eat them. Really cool, man, super cool. First off, I want to say thank you so much for coming. Absolutely, man. When we found Moss back online, it was just a company, it was just an idea. But as we ordered this whole fish city and started putting it in the pond, it, it became real to me and it became, hopefully it became real to y'all because this pond is gonna be a place that I get to bring so many people to have cookouts and picnics and fishing trips and just have a great time. But no matter how beautiful of a home you build, if you don't have food, Nothing's gonna be there. Like imagine a beautiful mansion with no food in it. People would be over at the little house full of food. So what we did was we built a beautiful home and put the best feeder we could possibly find here. Now we've got two of them. They both are set at the same time. So when they go off, I don't want this group of fish running down there and taking that group of fish's food. I want them both to go off at the same time, create lots of food, lots of action and um, with the fish feeding, I want the fish just to settle down. But if I can get 20,000 likes on this video, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do a, a complete 
swim through on this pond. We're gonna look through all the edges. We're gonna see what we can find. We're gonna look at all the fish and we're gonna start naming some of this, these fish. I wanna name some of them so that we know them so that as they come up and start feeding and start utilizing this, this habitat, we know them. This is a lifestyle that we live and I am so grateful to have you as a part of it. Go check out Mossback Fish Habitats. All, the, all their information will be in the description below. Check out Castaway Fish Feeders. They make deer feeders, protein feeders. They make uh, fish feeders and it's owned by a great guy, Larry Castro, who's a dear friend of mine. And I now consider you a friend. You're Thank welcome you, back you anytime. And uh, guys, take care, God bless. And we will see you soon. We got.